Got more people? A few. What the fuck, Silky and Dark? I don't know. Dark said he wanted to go sleep, I think. So he. Ah, uh, uh, boo. Off. But Silky wanted to come. Maybe she uh, she said that uh, she joined one uh, uh, she joined halfway or something. DOJ is one of those flying boats, right? Yeah, the one that just got up updated. Might be a bit slow for this. Don't know. Considering I'm in the Kodiak, possibly. Um, it's topping out at 150 kilometers an hour. Better than we thought. Jesus, I was driving faster than that in the States. Yeah. 60 is 120, right? 60, 60 is 100 kilometers, right? 60 miles per hour? Yeah. Yep. I think. About that. Topped out. Fastest road in Utah is like 85 miles an hour. Yeah, but the ET highway was some very, very long, straight, flat roads with absolutely no one in sight, and I was in a challenger, so. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I won't, won't even, won't even question that. <laughs> I don't understand your fascination with high velocities in cars. I mean, go to the autobahn for God's sake. Do whatever you want. Yeah, but then I need to go to Germany. Gross. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, <who are> you? <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, a reason why people come here. Yeah, sausages. Beer. Don't forget the beer. Oh yeah, that too. Well, I, I'm pushing 160. It's vibrating a little bit though. I, I actually, I think that's just because I'm low. Get in the sky, losers. We're going flying. seem to see an altimeter in this thing. Maybe they weren't invented back then. You think that's kinda essential for a plane, don't you? Yeah, just a little. can't see one. Anyone here after the uh, Bijan update been using the trees mod at all? Nah. I'm Accu season. Yeah, I had to disable it because I kept, I kept crashing the desktop, but now that I've disabled it, I don't crash the desktop. So that sucks. Ouch. Yeah.
should have brought floats. Why didn't I not bring floats? Perfect trip for it. For the first bit, of course. For the second bit, there's not much water. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I'm uh, probably not going to be around for the second half of this flight. Gonna go buy the, the first real Christmas tree I've ever had. Like an actual right. tree, none of this plastic shit. That's great. My uh, family runs a tree farm. Oh, you got the hook up? I got the hook up here in Utah. I think my trees come from you. I'm dead serious. From in California? Oh, uh, they might, not you. They oh. might, I don't mean you in particular. Sorry, I should have specified better. <laughs> That's crazy. I just said you. I meant like your area, but it also, I think it might be, or we get ours from Washington. One of the two. It's either Washington or Utah. All right, I shouldn't say tree farm. We own a tree market. We buy trees from like Oregon and we set, resell them. We don't actually grow the trees. That was confusing. Get it together, thought you it, two. I just <laughs> thought it was a little south to be growing <laughs> those. <laughs> they don't grow down here. Um, sorry I'm late, fellas. Where, Where are we at in Florida? Uh, Florida, we just took off from F-47. We're headed to F-A-4-3. Copy. And then what server are you guys on? West USA. Uh, West. Copy. Oops. Yeah, you guys are heaps faster than me. I, I might as well get out and walk. I can slow down. I can drop one notch of class. That was F. What was that again? I'm sorry. Yeah. Fox Foxtrot 43. As well, 47. Foxtrot 47 is where we took off from. But the next stop we'll be on if you want to just get with us is Foxtrot Alpha 43. That's uh, Dog Island. Yeah. Oh, someone's flying up on me. I can hear him. Can't see him. Where are they? For him. Wee, look at him go. Okay, I've got eyes on you guys. Departure. Yes. Okay. I had to restart my game twice because my mouse, the cursor wouldn't move. Hmm. I hate that. It's an Xbox thing, oh. not a PC thing. But I don't know why it likes to do that on Xbox. Oh, do we have live weather on over here? Oh, no. No, well, I, I went to high clouds. Sick of fine and depressing weather. High clouds makes this coastline look amazing. No. Yeah, just fly whatever. We're not super strict about anything. Fly however and whatever you want. Just try to sort of stick with the group, even though I'm facing everyone. So, uh... Yeah the Cessna 207 comes out this week, that's going to be fantastic to bring next, um, next yeah. Saturday. Yeah, I thought it came out the week after. I think the, it's the sim update this week and then the, the Cessna on the week after. Monday, right? Monday or Tuesday is the next update? Yeah, the 5th. 5th, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, that's that new, yeah. what's that, 15? Uh, 14. 14? 14? I know it's close somewhere in there. The, um, don't break my heart, Waylon. Like, uh, I, it, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be on Tuesday. Why? Because weekend. Well, cause cause I want it for next weekend. I've got hundreds of planes and nothing to fly, man. I need something new. Oh my God. <laughs> Luxury problems. That five dollar bundle. Oh yeah, you guys finally got that. Fuck yeah. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to pick it up. I have the um, I have the Zenith, and I have the Kodiak. I think one other plane. 
I got, and then I just want to get that pack for, I think, tomorrow. Uh, dude, you'll not regret oh. it. Like, it's oh, such yeah, a no, shame no, no. that they don't have um, the, um, the ability to release free stuff on the marketplace, but Jesus, it's worth more than five bucks. Definitely. It's way uh, worth more than five bucks. You're getting seven planes is in the group? Thing something here. like that and, and it it's gonna include like their future free releases as well so like it's insane value the carbon alone is worth a five bucks it's easy yeah the wheel on the carbon alone is worth five bucks that was a joke sorry it's kind of got it <laughs> yeah it's just like the wheel alone is worth five bucks i got him into the ocean not dive into what a ocean. stellar view. What are we doing? Why are we diving into the ocean, autopilot? So, uh... Three console generations later, we're getting the new GTA trailer on Tuesday, and that's pretty exciting. Yes, sir. Why City? What I'm, I'm not happy. What I'm not happy about is that they're going to have a subscription. Oh, for the online. That's why would they ever do that? Why? Why are you money? Making money. You made enough billions of dollars on the last game <laughs> that it was ten oh. years ago. And you can never make right. enough billions, seriously. Ah, dude. You just know it. the next GTA Online is gonna be the most disgusting, predatory, microtransaction-filled shitfest. I just want single-player, man. Like, Rockstar single-player is just art. Until the consumer stands up and says that's enough, they'll keep doing it. Well, uh, yeah. they, they, they're not interested in... It's Rockstar. You, me, or any, anyone else here, that they're, they're after the guy that will drop thousands of dollars into their game, though. They're, they're ex also, expendable income. It's Rockstar. What do you expect? Yeah. They're not known no, for their... They're not known for their honest and ethical business practices. They made Just give me that single player, and I'll be content. Everything else can fuck off. I'm not interested in that. Use the same business what gets me right? Already. Uh, I, I paid some Russian hacker like ten dollars to give me billions of dollars in GTA Online, and that's when I had fun. Yeah, like, much. I don't want to grind in video games. I don't want it to be a fucking job. Like, just let me have fun with my friends. See, but the only problem is when you, when you cheat in GTA, if you can hurt other players, that's the only problem. Uh, with in GTA. Yeah, I'm not talking like God Mode and, you know, all that hacky shit. I just want money to be able to enjoy the game. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And I think they've tried to attempt to fix that, like with the Kyle Puerker heist, making it finally they gave you, how many years later, they finally gave you something you could do by yourself that you didn't need four, three other assholes that were yeah. going to screw the shit so you could even make the money. Yeah. Because even trying to make it, you'd have trolls. Were, yeah. You're trying to get through a fucking. You're sorry. You're trying to get through a, um, a heist. You know, what be you and even just guys like no. Fly runs driving across the map and you're smart. Yeah, everyone like for your business. Yeah, you're shit. like, dude. Why am I being marked like I'm doing something against everybody else? Like this doesn't even affect everybody else. This just affects me. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what like gets me though? Business grow doesn't affect you know, eight dragons weed business down the road you know yeah. what i mean what gets me though is like when you lay it all out on paper it, gta online is fucking bare bones and the same like kind yeah. of rinse and repeat shit like it's not well thought out but there's nothing else like it so people have just flocked to it and that's why it makes yeah. pain it's the same thing with red dead online but that you know you can't go adding jetpacks and fucking flying motorcycles to it that's why multiplayer fizzled out but like my wife and me played um red dead online to death like we must have put about 120 hours into it but it's so surface level most of the time we just spent like just hanging out and just doing random shit together which is what i liked in gta online
That's what I did in Elite Dangerous. I just flew around and uh, did some trading and enjoyed the view. Yeah. Until somebody came up with uh, an overpowered ship and just blew me to pieces or stuff like that. So it's fucking impressive. The worst fucking vehicle ever put in GTA. Is he a person <laughs> yeah. I, I still to this day dislike it so much I've never purchased it. I don't even have it on my character. It's That's not how much horrible I hate, if you hate people. It's horrible if you don't hate people. I don't hate people. Everybody yeah. hates me. Yeah. If um mm. if they well, GTA online has like the private lobbies though, hey. Like right, where you can yeah. just play with some friends. That's what's yeah. keep them alive is all the role playing servers the on PC. Yeah. yeah. All the huge like modded servers I think yeah. is like what kept not like solely, but like fifty percent kept it alive. Fifty percent was the you know, people dumping money into it on the regular players like me. Like but I didn't dump money into it. Like what I mean is like who have like Xboxes and consoles. Yeah. Just that way, and then the other half is all the modded servers for yeah. Yeah. all the role players. And like, I, do that. I can't help but feel like they're just like teetering on a cease and desist from Rockstar because Rockstar's not making right. money from them. I'm surprised um, they haven't. I mean, Rockstar supports the 5M servers. Like they, they've never done anything unless they're like actively not using it for great things, like. Not sit, not, uh, you not watch the, the moment something teeters like cents worth into their profits, they'll shut that shit down like anything. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just hate 5M. Every time I've been on 5M, it's always a 12 year old telling me that I don't know how to be a police correct. And that shit don't fly, man. <laughs> you don't know how to fuck correctly, kid. <laughs> don't, don't fly in this town. Huh? huh? Like, you you little prick, little prick. I got booted from a server one time. That's why I can't play with kids. I was told <laughs> that I was off road in a vehicle. I was in a Victor, a Vic, a Grand, uh, yeah, I was in a Vic, and they were like, "You're off road, and this isn't an off road car." And I was like, "Well, I was chasing a guy that went off road," and they're like, "Call it in, don't chase, call it in." And I was like, "This is not what a cop would oh do." Oh my god, Crown Vicks can absolutely go off road. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, this is not an off road approved vehicle, and I'm like. You're 12. Shut up. Get out of here. I'm not playing this what game. What else are you going to do with a V8 rear-wheel drive three grand car? Come on. <laughs> remember when I was a, I've never been a police officer, but I do remember when I was an explorer. Now I was in the Marine Corps and stuff afterwards, so I'm not like trying to wish and hope that I was a cop. But at one point, I was an explorer, and it was when they had newly switched over to a lot of the units in the country were switching over to the Dodge Challengers or Chargers yep. for their police cars. And so we were getting these souped up V8 Chargers. And I remember being on a couple police chase. Like, I, I grew up in a small town in Missouri. So I don't mean like motherfucking freeway chasing chases. Yeah. It was like b back roads of Missouri chasing people. Those cars are fun. But they couldn't take those ones off-road. I know that for sure. They were too heavy. At yeah. least for Missouri soil. At least for Missouri soil. They were they were too heavy. They would just bury themselves. Yeah, that's fair. I get that, but I was on a, I was on a dirt road and like I'm not off-road. I wasn't ripping through like sagebrush. I was just on a dirt road. As you usual, know, people ruin everything. Yeah, I just never played ever again. I was like, this is dumb. I just, I, I just like playing with the, the, the same group of people that I can tolerate. I, I don't like random people. Same with Elite Dangerous. We were, I, I played that with two other guys, and we were just mining and in our own little private server, and it was it was fantastic. No, no one to destroy our shit just for no reason. I actually went exploring with a group, so we went all the way from one from one end of the galaxy to the other, and did the circumference and stuff like that. That was fun, but that's playing cool. in a PvP server, that was uh, especially oh, yeah. because usually you would have. I mean, if you if you go up against a PvP ship that that just jumps you, you lose. I mean, there's no point. You cannot defend yep. yourself, or if you can defend yourself, if you're in a ship that can defend itself. It's it's no good at trading or whatever. So 
you're always going to lose. Yeah. You know what game I really liked was Sea of Thieves. It was really good. For still playing it time. right now. Yeah. Actively still fun. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I just, I, 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 got, I, just I got burned out of it after the the Reapers yeah, and I, the Athenas and the... I just re-downloaded it earlier this week, and yeah. I finished up Melee Island. Like, so I played on and off, off through the years. In fact, it's one of those games that holds a special place for me because it was the first, first oh, pardon me, first Game Pass game. Yeah. Uh, and Game Pass that ever came about. And so it took me like four years to get Pirate Legend because I kept uninstalling and reinstalling it and playing it. Yeah. Um, but recently I reinstalled. It's a good bit of fun. Still yeah. saying stuff, but I mean... I, I mean, I love uh, the game. I just got burned out after we, it was just it became uh, shit on everyone else and like yeah. you, I you think they have safer you seas. <laughs> you mean it's totally dropping it. this week? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. Holy yeah. shit! It, I'm just looking it up. It's um, it's I I played it for a decent chunk of time. How long have I played? <laughs> oh, only 38 hours. I've played with friends heaps. I was just looking it up, and it's um, verified on the Steam Deck, so I might have to yeah. install it on that. And if, you, if you download it, I'll, I'll download it again. Do me a favor, research Safer Seas for me. If you could, yeah. while you guys yeah, yeah. hold up. Yeah, yeah, one moment. Sea of Thieves, Safer Seas. What, re release date? I, I didn't oh, yeah. read into it. I'm curious of what it, all it is. Um... haven't is it is it just oh, like oh, they... no 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 right okay so safer seas it's private servers that it is okay that well. is what they're yeah. doing so they are yeah. i so wanted to bring it week. up they next are bringing week. safer seas which is i think private servers so if yes. you want to alleviate that kind of same problem well and just sail the seas and do your shit which is what i like to do because i'm not a big pvp guy yeah i'm a big yeah. like i know how to like fight people i'm not i don't mind doing it it is just not my thing i'm i'm not very good at it um, but I do enjoy PvE. Yeah. And, uh, PvE with Saber Seas, this will be really great. Jesus Christ, when did it become a 100 gig game? Woof! <laughs> yeah, it just grew. It's because they've changed so much. It's like they went from having just the Hungering Deep as the first, like, Tall Tale, to now you have the nine main Tall Tales. You have Pirate Legends, Melee Island, like, uh, Glitter Beard. Then you have like all the Reapers, Fort of the Dam. There's all the fortresses now. The, yeah. the, it's just changed so much. It's a big game. I like that name, by the way, Lay Wayland. Wayland Industries. <laughs> yeah, Wayland yeah, Industries. Actually, exactly. I actually had this. This was the name of my first character in Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft. And then, of course, I had another character called Yutani. So, uh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, did you see um, the main James Cameron movies are getting um, 4K re releases? Aliens, True Lies, and Ooh. The Abyss all coming yeah, out of summer. That. Dude, they're, That's they're cool. doing. Um, well, I know it's sh showing back in Australia right now because one of my mates is going to it um, this weekend. But yeah, The Abyss and 4K back in cinemas. Holy fuck. What a movie. That's insane. Yeah, um, I hope that they're going to show it here, Tony. Uh, I'd love to see True Lies again as well, because Jamie Lee right. Curtis awoken you know, something in me. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Her tits are still big. I'd still nail, nail that granny. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis has always been a babe. I mean, Aliens has been one of the best movies, action movies ever. It's basically perfect. I, I and I actually yeah. did enjoy Prometheus. I thought it had it has so much uh, lost potential because it had some great ideas, but in the end, it just didn't work out for me. Yeah, I I, I should say I liked Michael Fassbender. Okay. As the AI, the the you know the cyborg. In Prometheus, what was yeah, his name? he was great. Yeah. Oh, was it Stephen? David. 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 Da no, yeah. his name was David. It was David. David. Yeah, that's right, David. 
And then that lady gets crushed at the end by the ship. That was Just worth it. Just run sideways. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Why are we running with... What are we doing? Now, my, 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 my favorite goof in that is when David rattles off, like, the time time to arrival, the time they've been in cryosleep or something, and he says something like, a, you know, seven months, six weeks, oh. seven days, 32 hours. I'm like, there's another fucking day in 32 hours, dickhead. Yeah, dickhead. <laughs> Why we... Why'd you not give that another day and then... <laughs> yeah, but, okay, hours. it's the same with uh, seven months, six weeks. I mean, that's eight months, two weeks, yeah, actually. Yeah, eight months, two weeks. It's like, literally, it's almost eight and a half months. Would have just been easier to say. Have um, you guys watched the creator yet? No. Yeah, I did. What do you think? That they I... used the Beirut explosion in their trailer, and they caught a lot of flack for it. Did they? Oh Dude, yeah, they did. They oh, used yeah. they the explosion use in Beirut in their trailer, oh, wow. and they just added CGI buildings here and there. Fair okay, enough. do you guys, do you know who the, to be you know fair, who the was a pretty I'm not epic explosion. It. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not knocking it for that, but like, do you know who Corridor Crew is? Yeah, on YouTube? Really lot, yeah. I'm sure you do. Hey, those guys did, a, like, they talk about it in one of their videos, and they wipe away the CGI that was put in, and it's the Beirut explosion. Like, it is a video from, that somebody shot, like one of the bystanders in a building shot from their phone or whatever. And the creator, or the people of the creator, decided it was a good idea to take that shot, put it in a shot for their trailer, and just add CGI buildings over it. Yep. Yeah, and fair enough. thought nobody was gonna see it. <laughs> or notice it, I mean, not see it. it. Look, yeah. credit, yeah, credit to them it. though, like, it was a low, but well, in the grand scheme of things, it was a low budget movie, right? Right, but right. At no fucking point, did it feel like a low budget movie? It felt like a massive and I multi million enjoy, dollar blockbuster. Uh, that's Denzel's kid. He's been in a couple of those. He was like in The Tenet, which is another one that was done by Christopher Nolan, which was, yeah, uh, Ooh, that was wasn't way that overrated. The weird one? The, yeah. The I'd Tenet was good. That. You had to watch it on your own. It's just hard to follow. It's actually harder to follow than Inception. Like, Inception's pretty easy. You but just jump in a dream. Who jumps in a dream? It goes in a dream. Stellar, though. But like, oh yeah, it's like, it's confusing. I honestly got a little bit confused watching the Tenet. But because it's like forward is time is traveling forward and backwards. Yeah, and that's illogical. Sorry, sorry. It, it's, I mean, it, no, it is. It is, and it's just it fucks with your brain the whole time. But. Yeah, but the creator, I liked it visually. I did like the. I didn't care for the story too much. I thought the story was a little bit thin, but visually it was great. Some top-notch special effects, like probably yeah, some, I've of seen the, some of the, the best I've seen low some budget. Shots like that. Um, there's the Japanese guy who's in a lot of those. He's also in Inception. Uh, Ken Watanabe. Yes, yeah, Ken Watanabe. Guy. He's he's in the movie, and I seen that. I, I saw that scene where, of course, I haven't seen it yet. But they're like on a bridge, or they're at their homes, or something, and they're fighting off these, um, not fighting off, there's these goddamn suicide drones. Yes, the, the bombs the running drones. in, and like, yeah. exploding. And the girl walks up, and it stops, but like, that's the, like, and I can see through the back of their head, and that like, that CGI work is great. That, that looked awesome. So, I do want to see it, I just haven't seen it yet. Uh, well, well worth a watch. It reminded me a lot of, like, um, District 9. Just, like, low budget, but you could never really tell. District 9 caught flack when that movie was made. Yeah. They shot that. They shot because... that in actual villages of people that were fucking poor. Yeah, but they also highlighted, like, um, like, all, all the rape... Uh, racial segregation and stuff like that that Africa was doing like that, that oh, it yeah, was yeah. like a, oh, a, yeah. a parody of it how they were treating the aliens was well, a parody of how they're treating like um, other people that this there that were living there from other countries well, that's like that that movie bright too they did the same <laughs> tell you, you what, that man <laughs> right okay so bright 
<laughs> how can a movie with such an incredible setting and new, like world building be just so fucking average like at one point they're showing like the skyline of LA with like a plane taking off and there's a dragon flying in the sky tell me the fuck about that like the rest of the story was just so average in, did you like, guys did you happen yeah. to see the new, new trailer for Furiosa are you a Mad Max yeah man? Look, they got a look pretty new, damn got a, good looks and, good and, it looks a little bit too CGI heavy when George Miller's strength is practical effects. Like, Fury Road was <laughs> yeah, like right. a masterclass in practical effects, whereas Furiosa looks, uh, it looks very green screeny in certain spots. But look, I'm all for Chris Hemworth playing like someone disgusting as well. Like, um, yeah. I, I always love seeing the Do himbos think... go into like the gross weird roles. Right. Do you think they gave him the red cape on purpose? Oh, he's hoping. Yeah, well, <laughs> I laugh at that, and I was like, those motherfuckers are trying to make him look like Thor without making him look like Thor. If, um, one of the best movies he did was, um, Bad Times at the El Royale, where he plays, like, this cult and, leader. And he's that creepy cult. Yeah. Oh, dude, my wife and I watched that movie at the oh, motel. Good, right? With him and Jeff oh, Bridges, good. who's the priest. Yeah. yeah. And the girl shows up. Yeah, it's a whole fuck. That movie's good. Like, when they're going through, like, um, how many people each of them has killed and the the, yeah. the the weird, creepy, like, desk clerk is up in the hundreds and it turns out he was in um, the, the, the war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic movie, that one. One of my favorites. But, yeah, Chris is Hemworth in that for was, was great. I'm oh, the weather in a was nasty pretty. storm right now. Oh, my weather, oh. then. I wouldn't... I'm not on live weather. Oh, yeah. I'm Holy on, fuck. I'm on, on live weather, and it is pissing right now. Switch to high clouds. It's the best. You want to see, you can. I'm just saying, do you have it up there, Dragon? You got live weather rolling? I'm not on live weather. I'm on a custom weather preset. Oh, yeah. Screw this, then. Yeah. yeah, so switch to high clouds, it's the best. I couldn't for these see trips. a thing. I'm just talking, autopilot's got it, and my plane is kicked around like a little stud hey, back here. If you got autopilot, you're fine. It's just well, that's how much you want to put up with. No, it's all good. I just I was like, damn, where did this storm come from? It is Florida though. Yeah. Have any of you guys seen the live action trailer for the new Avatar series on Netflix? Did you say Avatar? I almost fucking cried. Because <laughs> it looks so good. It looks like, amazing. Because it's not the last Airbender movie. No. Look, it's I, not I, the fucking never, M. Night Shyamalan. I've never watched the show, but I saw that movie, and apparently a lot of people no, 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 no. not like then it. You, so. Then you did yourself injustice. Like, because the show is so much better than the movie, even though it was on Nickelodeon and it's animated. It was good. It just... The characters, the kids, they, they all just did well. Yeah. And the storytelling was done well. Yeah. Is and it so Netflix, it, the new yeah. series? Well, yes, it will be. It's, yes, the old animated series is what the new is on there as well. live action is based on. And they're both on there. Uh, and they did a great yeah. job then, in casting. Everybody looks like their character... It's uh, all the did you notice that all the trailer all the shots on the trailer are shot from shot from the show yes yeah I'm so stoked can't, for it can't wait yeah, but they tried to same with Cowboy Bebop and it didn't work out that well Cowboy Bebop can never be this is the thing that you get those early see like I consider Cowboy Bebop early anime for the United States and it is very very hard like One Piece has got it right but, Wasn't the Cowboy Bebop one, like, people still liked it, though? Uh, I didn't no, watch it. it. I oh, liked really? it, because, but I didn't know, uh, I liked it, uh, the, the live action version, but I never watched the uh, the anime version, so I was not predisposed Going in blind one way or the as well, other. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was okay, I mean, I've seen better movies, or better series, I've also seen much worse. But so I liked it, but uh, from what I heard, most people who were familiar with the uh, original anime uh, didn't like it at all.
though, or my sim wants to give me all the engine sounds over my loudspeakers, but my uh, the, the warnings or uh, the voice from the uh, GPS, which tells me that I'm 500 feet over the ground, it tells me uh, it, it sends that to the heads headphones. It's so weird. I think it's a setting in the audio thing, isn't it? Yeah, you can change you can, it. You can it's almost like headphone, headphone simulation, though. Waylon? Yeah. But I think you can everything coming through your speakers and then you're wearing headphones. Yeah, but everything is set to the same. So uh, I checked because that was my first thought that I had something because I had to reinstall the sim because of a new computer. So I thought, okay, maybe uh, it was something in the settings, but all is supposed to go to the same device. Okay, fine, I'll go up. Good Christ. If you insist. <laughs> if you insist, I'll go up another 100 feet. I'm going to cut the corner at Tallahassee and try and catch up to you. I'm flying like 105 with two knots of the flaps. So I'm flying as slow as I can without stalling out. Here comes another good topic. Did you guys watch Loki? I have not yet uh, caught up on it. The first but season didn't hold me. Season. You got you got to finish it because everything changes at the end of season two. Okay. Need to start it. Yeah, my wife said the same thing. She she watched it, but it's great. It's awesome. Loki is my new favorite character. 500, 500, 500, 500. Like, I would equate Loki, the ending of season two of Loki, to like how big Endgame was when everybody waited for that and the big fight. Not that there's a big fight at the end of Loki season two. But. What the heck? Stop talking to me. No. I started uh, watching Monarch Legacy of Monsters. It's oh, how's fun. that? <laughs> it's actually not It's not bad. I mean, uh, I'm not too familiar with the Godzilla movies uh, or the, the Japanese Godzilla movies. I, I didn't like the last uh, uh, screen movie so the, that much. But this one is actually, the series is not bad. It's well done. It's, it's uh, The optics are great. So uh, what's it on? Uh, Apple. Apple. Oh, so, okay. So, so torrent for us normal people. <laughs> um, I do want to check because I, I showed my wife the trailer. I do want to check that Japanese one out, Godzilla minus one. Yeah, it looks awesome, it, it right? Is great reviews, and people are loving that one. And, yeah, and apparently, like the human element is actually good, which is a rarity for a Godzilla Japanese movie. Japanese storytelling. I don't know. My wife and I have, are watching some Korean shows right now. Like, there's one on, I forget, I think it's on Netflix? It's either on Netflix or one of the other ones, or it's on Paramount. Either way, this guy shows up at a hotel, and this is a Korean show. Or not this guy. Anyway, there's this whole organ donating underground thing at this hotel done one time, and the story follows one of the guys who's being auctioned off, like his kidneys and stuff are being auctioned off, like like in a hotel room. Oh, and then a fucking delightful. earth... Well, then an earthquake happens, and people had already bid on his organs, and then an earthquake fucking happens, and the building collapses, but not everybody dies, including, like, he survives, and so do, like, the other people that were bidding on his organs, and they still want those motherfucking organs. So they're, like, Jesus. fucking hunting and chasing his ass through this collapsed fucking hotel building after an earthquake. It's, it's fucking, it's interesting. Sounds but, like, like some family fun. There's a, um, a, what was that movie that we watched, love? Along with the Gods? Yeah. It's a, a movie called Along with the Gods. And it's about, like, uh, the Grim Reapers come and get you. They're, like, creepy looking. They're, like, whatever. They take you to the underworld, and they have to, like, survive the seven trials in order to be reincarnated or something? Or come back? That's another good one. But what I was going to say in that is in those stories, as odd as they sound, the human element inside of those are always very deep. 
<laughs> and I think it comes from their sort of storytelling on that side of the world. Yeah, I think so. I watched uh, Alice in Borderlands, which I, is totally weird. I watched that too. That's a good that, one. Right. That's another one of those. That's good great. Ones. The second season is much better than the first. The first one was crazy. Really you got to get back into that. If you guys have never seen Alice in, what was it called again? Say it again. Alice in Borderlands. Alice in Borderland. It's like, it's a Korean survival games, but in a city. It's like a battle royale, Neat. but like, it's insane. Normal people get plucked off the street and then they have to fight to survive. And like, it's it's nuts. I think we got like a couple episodes into that one. That one's pretty good. Oh snap! Fallout teaser trailers just dropped. Yep. Has it? I saw the. I yep. saw the. I saw the. I saw the. Um, the stills. Like I saw I the girl in the. I just posted it in, in um, the movies and music channel in the Got Gravel server for you. I told my wife I was excited about this too. You, s you put it where? Uh, oh, movies the mo music. movies and music. I haven't watched it yet. Too busy looking out for you guys. It's nice. It's really good. It looks interesting. And then I never played the games. Yeah, I'll watch it and try not to crash. The only Fallout games I ever played was Fallout 4 in VR. I didn't even play that much of it. I think the only Fallout game that I ever played was the original one, the, the very first one, and I didn't like it. I got Starfield though, feel good. He's watching the trailer, he can't even hear me. Oh, this looks fantastic, you guys. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Keen as. Nice. It's scheduled for April, isn't it? Um, shit, not sure. It's definitely next year sometime. That is going to be fantastic. Yeah, right? Where is everybody? 12th. Remember how, how psyched everybody was about the Halo series, and then how that turned out? Oh my god. No, oh, I was mad at it at first, and then you get to the end of the season, and as long as they keep to the way it's supposed to be, he'll be stuck in his helmet from now on. But I think I had a lot of people just had a hard time swallowing him being out of his helmet for a season. I don't think it's going to happen anymore. And committing uh, war, war crimes while having sex with a prisoner. That hey, too. you know, who knows? What does the chief need to fuck? He's too cool I'm... to get the girl. He just blows shit up. Just, just, just give me uh, law, but master I think, chief. I think with all that, with the, with because his brain. Oh, never mind. For I don't know who's all seen it. Hadn't seen it. Seen nothing. 
I don't want to say anything, then. Yeah, it's okay. I don't really follow Fallout. Well, with his shit getting erased at the end, he's not going to remember any of them. Uh, everything that happened in this first season to him... It was all a dream. Well, not like necessarily a dream, but, <laughs> you know, he gets, he gets locked in and he gets erased, you know what I mean? So, like, or not he gets erased, but his memory gets erased. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's a lot. They, I thought the CGI was really good. I thought the elites and the grunts and the jackals, they all looked really well. But that's storytelling, man. There's already a whole story. That you literally just have to copy and paste and just make it look better. And people would have been on board with that, you know what I mean? Yep. It's all they had to do. <laughs> I I wish um they stuck with the Neil Blockamp ones from back in the day, the short shorts he did. They were fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. I wish that Bungie would come back and take over. But you know, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. But Bungie's not the Bungie you and me remember it to be. Anymore. I know. If Bungie could have been the same Bungie it was in 2000, and what was that? Two, when was the first console drop? What was that? 2006? Oh, uh, hey, what? Well, hey, Halo 1? That was 2001 or 2002? Something like that. Somewhere. I kind of I was in middle school when that when it, when it all dropped. No. Was I? Yes. I think 8th grade, 7th or 8th grade. Yeah, November 15th, 2001. Holy fuck. I am old. Jesus. Guys, I was I was 10 when 9-11 happened. I remember where I was, yeah. So I was, in, I was working at university at that time, so I feel really old now. I bet you you do. <laughs> you weren't even attending the university. You were working at it. That's... Was two, I think. Yeah, or three, two or three years old. I don't even remember where I was at. Guys, I got to punch out. Lunch has just arrived, and my wife is stuck outside because the uh, garage door clicker ain't working. Okay. Later, buddy. Get to her. Have a good one, guys. I'll you catch you next weekend. Sure. See us. Take care. Yes, but last airbender? God, I can't I can't wait, man. Yep. Oppa looked great. Momo looked great. Oh, Momo looked so good. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did I don't know if it was in that trailer. I don't think it was, but I think I've seen a uh what was the name of that moon princess up north? Sokka's love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget her name, but I saw uh, I saw um, a still of her. Okay. She looks really good. What is the uh, the warrior's name? I can't remember. Hers. Like, Ak, the little blind one. No, the, the. I can't wait. I hope she gets put female, in there. Female, the female warriors that are. Like Suki's clan, like Suki, Suki and the girls. Suki. Yeah, I know her name was Suki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I forget the I forget her little group's yeah. name. But yeah, the little warriors. Yeah, she looked really good. She looked great. Yeah, her and the girls. I can't wait for Tog to show up. She's yeah. a tough little badass. Yeah. Again, I, I was really obviously hesitant about this one because at one point, I know the show creators from the original show like left the project. Yeah. But again, you've got, you know, three seasons worth of material. Let's try not to screw it up. Right. Does anybody of you follow uh, The Wheel of Time, the Amazon series? You know, 
I would, and I tried to get into those books, but there's like 20 books, right? 14, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard things don't even get good to like book seven. Oh, that's not true. It's starting to... <laughs> no, no, nah, no. Nah. Actually, I think we, uh, there's a sort of a... It's a slowdown between, somewhere between seven and ten, so actually the, I think the best book is actually the fourth. Oh, okay. uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a, it's a totally fleshed out world with, I think they have, in the books, they have more than 4,000 characters with names. Jeez. So, it, it, How it's in the, the best book. How in do you even keep up with all the names? You don't, but you keep, uh, you keep up with the main characters. Uh, that's yeah. plenty anyway, but... So I like the books. I've enjoyed them very much. I've recently uh, listened to them on an, as audiobooks, which is a completely different experience. I also like the TV show, but of course they're doing a lot of shortcuts. It's uh, they're simplifying things right and left and center. So it's. Uh, I hope Lord they can the get. Back. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is peanuts compared to the Wheel of Time, just in terms of in the terms of complexity. Uh, you have way more characters uh, and countries and nations and history, so no, maybe not history, but so I think in terms of complexity, the Wheel of Time is on a different level than the Lord of the Rings, yeah. not because no, no, there's no. So, much, so much material yeah, there. Sure, I'm looking forward. I hope the show comes back. The power of uh, the Ring of Power. Uh, I didn't like that much. Uh, that no. Didn't that much. No. That I, it was visually. It was. Uh, I think in terms of. Uh, craftsmanship, it was awesome. So the, the the way it looked, the way it... You didn't like the dwarves? I liked the dwarves. You didn't like but... Thorin? Man, those guys were great. Yeah, but I, I don't appreciate... I mean, there is a canonical story before the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Why don't they use it? Why do they invent something else? Why yeah, does the big man of, of the second or third age have to hide being a human... Uh, uh, disguise himself as a human? What's the point? Yeah, uh, that was my yeah, problem. I, 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 it was visually, it was great, uh, but I think why not simply go the, the story? Same thing we've been saying about the other stuff. Yeah, it's like you've got all this material and stuff. Why are we like Halo? We were talking about that. Why are we doing all this when you already have everything written out for you? Exactly. That book. The, it's this book. It's a book, right? The Lord of the Rings. That tells the history of the Lord of the Rings, right? Like, There's several, yeah. <laughs> what's it? It start, is it one that starts with an S? The uh, Samarillion. That's the Samarillion. The Samarillion. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, the Samarillion. Did that Lyman just catch a touchdown? That's insane. So this next stop um, is our halfway point. It's 823 feet long. Good luck. You got it, sir. In fact, I think there's like. That's 15 miles out, right? What? Yeah, roughly. Relax, Texas. Jesus. Oh. I just looked at the Hobbs and this Kodiak. I'm at 150 hours. There you go. Yeah, I just lost all my hours because I had to reinstall the sim. Oh, that sucks. 
and I was at I think a 270 with the Cessna 310. Damn, nice. About 150 or so in the Mooney, uh, 40 or so in the Wilga, in the, the Waco. So, yeah, but I'm starting from scratch now. Yeah, I wish Xbox did that. I have no way of knowing. Like, I have my overall flight time, like, hours logged, but I can't see individually, like, on a plane, how many hours I've logged on. It, it. depends on the plane. I mean, if you have, for example, the the Coronado, or the, the, the Mooney, there is a hops meter in there. So it, it's not a function of the sim, it's really a function of the, of the plane. Some planes have them, and some don't. If you get to the oh, okay. from from God Friends, they also have it right in the in the, in the taco uh, in the taco meter. Copy. But it will reset if you reinstall the plane or reinstall the system. Right. Um, what's that next export we're headed to? Uh, or strip. Fox Alpha Twenty Nine. But uh, Lumar Field. Very small. And by the looks of it, there's also dense cloud cover above it. <laughs> You're online by there, yes. Not for long. Is it grass or is it a paved runway? It's 800 feet of grass, I think. Rosemary Miracles again? Sorry. Where's I know Fox shot Alpha, the, the numbers. <clears throat> 23. I think. Or 29, sorry. 29. I know you're good, you're good. Loomer Field. You can't even tell that's an airstrip, dude. Yeah. I just took off from it, and you take it. I just took off between some trees.
I gotta love the audio of those tundra tires rolling across the grass. Hello, buddy. gonna fix this right. I just need some new paint that's all yep that's it <laughs> It's down. We'll take our 10 minute break. We'll use the restroom or get a coffee or whatever. And we'll be back. Sure. At 15. We'll be back at 15 after. Copy. Copy.
Hey, okay, I'm back. I'm back. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ready. Ready. Ready, ready. Oh, hey. How do I close my my door on the side? On the side? You know the sky, like on the Kodiaks? Uh, they have the skydiving door? Oh, I never fight skydiving. I don't know. Oh, uh, it's stuck open. Oh, well. Oh, well.
moving slow, elite. Or eight. What did I say, elite? I know it's eight dragons. Moving slow because everyone else is moving slow. Oh, sorry. Okay, just make sure. I was like full bore pegged and I was about to blow by you. Yeah, I've got two notches of flaps in. I've got like 119, 118 knots. Maybe my awesomeness blew you to the side. Yes, my autopilot just tried to <laughs> me out of the sky. I saw that. I was like, where's he going? I almost started turning with you. Yeah, don't follow the autopilot. I got you. Wayland, you got eyes on that strip? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'm heading down there. But I'm going to circle it around because that's I, I was too high. I can see it from my spot over here. Yeah. Where I've got eyes on. Yeah, I just was too high. So it makes more Thank sense you. for me to do an orbit. Bring it on in. Bring it on. I need a new yoke. This is ridiculous. What's that? I said I need a new yoke. This dead zone is ridiculous. Oh, that sucks. If I turn the wheel, if I turn the yoke one way, it instantly responds because that's what the dead zone is. But I have to like do almost a quarter turn before it goes the other way.
Again, what are you doing, Autobot? Where are you? What is what is your deal? <laughs> you just crossed in front of me. What are you talking about? Autopilot. I was coming up. Oh, I was like, I just. It's no. every time I get close to you. It is, which is weird. I don't... <laughs> Do you guys need a room? Mm, we might. Every time my my plane gets near his, his autopilot wigs out and sends him going the complete wrong direction. Yeah. What is the current heading right now? That's strange. Like one, 159? Yeah, it just like kicks out of heading mode and just tries to kill me. Going this way now. That is bizarre behavior. Never heard that one before. Try it again. Well, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm not coming. Now. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm not really going to test this because that is fun. <laughs> Stands too short was removed from the server. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, and I've watched it happen to you twice already. Bye. I'm lining up to land on the runway. Oh, well, it looked like all the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went the exact same direction at, like, almost the exact same pitch. That also would make sense if your autopilot is the one turning you. <laughs> so I popped off autopilot. I'm not autopilot anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm freehanded now. I have the controls. Mm -hmm. 
pieces. Hey there. Hey there. Hi. Yeah, I just took off from Cross City. A C T Y? Is that right? Yeah. K C T Y if you wanna join us. Okay. Ugh, I have to load up the sim, so it might take us just as long. I did see you boot up Satisfactory. What you doing over there? What? I just got back from the gym. I have booted up nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it was so awkward. Actually, never mind. You're streaming. I won't share the story. <laughs> what did you say? I said Steam doesn't lie. Well, it does sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, the small group here today. 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 Freaking fine. I'm telling you the story. So, uh, yeah. So I did like a. It was a glute workshop today. So yeah. I'm very sore. But um, my instructor. We like met my other, my personal trainer at the stairs and he was like, oh, you're taking like Curtis's workshop today. I was like, yeah, I am. And my, the instructor Curtis, because it was glute day, he was like, oh yeah, we're doing butt stuff today. And I was like, no, <laughs> we have to, we have to work on your wording here, please. And they were just chuckling. And I was like, yeah, it's glute day. Hello. And it was, it was great. Because there was like an old lady walking down the stairs and she like whipped her head around and she's like, what? Wow. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. That was Wait, great. Where, where did Stan's Too Short go? Did just dip? I don't know. Maybe. Weird. Where's everyone at today? Uh, feel good dipped early for lunch. Wolf is MIA. Wayland and Night Shift are here. Mm -hmm. See? Wayland is always okay. here. He's like the most. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't here last time, but I have uh, an excuse. I had to I had to do re download the sim because I have a new computer and with a mm -hmm. 16 megabit connection. Ah, it's mm -hmm. a project. That would be a project. Well, according to Discord, feel good is just listening to Spotify, so Pretty much. <laughs> That's true. EN got a girlfriend and just forgotten about us, I guess. But <laughs> uh, he didn't pull a U and get your girlfriend into the flight sim. No, he did not. Just so strange. <laughs> Darn. Too busy whining and dining, losing all of his money. I'm getting sick in sushi restaurants. Stop making me hungry.
Wait a minute, these springs. What plane are you flying in? Whatever you want. There's two Kodiaks here. One Comanche, one X-Cup. Doesn't okay. have a Kodiak or a Comanche. But, but I do got... have the X-Cup. You have the X-Cup. A tail dragger. But we've, we've, we've been practicing those. You should be good. Mm-hmm. Could also go for the NX Cup, which has a nose wheel. That. Oh, that's true. I don't know if I've flown the NX Cup yet. Have I? I Maybe. I've flown the Monster NX Cup, I think. Maybe not. I, I mean, try the Monster NX Cup. You might like it. It is damn ugly, but it's also very powerful. Sim's loading up. Just missed those treetops. Holy smokes. Has your game crashed yet, or was it that tree mesh that you figured out last night? I'm pretty sure it's that tree thing, but it hasn't crashed yet. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Oh. Anyone got an idea what a plane named E-295 is? It's on our left-hand side. Is it an Embraer or something? Yeah, and it just disappeared. <laughs> You know what I haven't flown in a while? Well, because I don't have it. But I do want to when I get there. Um, this is the caribou. Oh, you gotta buy that. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it. I just fly it at your place. Well, then you should buy it and fly it at your place. Then we can fly it together. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I'm loading up. Which airport did you say? Ah, oh, I see you on the map. You can just load in on me. Just set me as your departure point. Oh, okay.
How's the snow been there, Grant? Oh, uh, very little. Almost nothing. Mm. It stopped yesterday and it's just been melting. Mm, okay. Eggnog I checked last night, though, froze overnight and exploded in the dumpster. So that's wonderful. What happened? The eggnog. Oh, your eggnog. Exploded <laughs> in the dumpster overnight. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's Something's great. On Thursday. Well, it might not. It might just keep it cold. So I guess two two days ago, did you see that thing that uh, Delta retired its last CRJ two hundred? Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I guess it's just replacing them with like the CRJ seven hundred and nine hundred. But the last one flew out of Salt Lake. Very cool. On the thirtieth. Okay, we do have to figure out the satisfactory save file, though, because I kind of want to play, but I also... <laughs> uh... Oh, wait. We'll have to, like, coordinate when we're playing if the save file is on your computer. Yeah. So I need to transfer it to my computer. Yeah, it's easy. Nothing. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. There's some water coming up. Some small, oh, tiny oh, islands. No fun. Exciting. Water. Not even trees and dirt. We should make a trip in the Alps if you want. Uh, if you want mountains. Yeah. Once we get to the Appalachians, there'll be some mountain flying. Florida is flat, and that's okay. I think after we're done with the U.S. tour, I think we will go do Europe. Yeah, I'm doing that with Silky and Dark at the moment. So we 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 started in Corsica, then went up to southern France, from there to Italy. Yeah. So we're in Sicily right now. Sweet. And then we can fly some gliders in the Alp for a leg.
question is, what is that EB100P? What the? Oh, that's the airport? Oh my gosh. I didn't see that. <laughs> Does anyone see it's that? so v little. VHH4? Oh my god. 8686? EB100P? I don't know what that is. Find out. We won't be able to find out by getting near it. It'll just look like a bonanza. I think that's one of the aerobatics plants. Uh, I don't know which one. Or it could be the, uh, the Tocano, the, this turboprop thingy. Mm. Yeah, okay. Because that's also an Embraer, I believe. There you are.
looks like for now. That's definitely quite straight for a normal river. Yeah. Longest water runway I've ever seen. Go for it. If only I had floats. For now, it's just a death trap for my current situation. Seem to be quite a few cap cabals here around, aren't there? Or are these all marinos? These are. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm flying over two parallel strips of land, reaching into the sea, and I don't have no idea what they're good for. But they're razor straight. I don't know. Looks like they're roads. They're like little. Yeah, there's roads on them. I think on the map though, it's connecting to rail, like railroads. So it might be like for ships or ports or like it, like barges to come through and then off. So you think like onto... a, like a K or a P or something? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Crystal River Energy Complex. Yeah, like the shipping crates to load those right onto a train or something. Yeah, it looks like it's a dockyard. Running land, running. Oh my gosh! Landing runway one eight on the grass strip.
a long green It's a bit rough. A bit rough what that was. Stay on the ground. I lost all your tags. I don't know where y'all are at. We're over behind a building. Just head up, head up the runway. Okay. The grass strip runway or the... The pavement and asphalt. The main area. one. Do you see me at all or no? Yeah, I see you. Oh. We're like in the middle of the runway. Off to the side behind the building. Okay. You'll go right past us. Okay. Are your next left turn off. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I see you on the sim, but I see you on your on your uh, stream. Weird. Well, good flight, everybody. Thanks for joining. Yeah, was fun. Happy to be flying again. Definitely. 